The human race needs food, develops medicines, fights illnesses, mines, drills, pumps, and refines fossil fuels that it needs for transportation over land, sea, and air. It addresses the problems of waste disposal and strives for quality of life. To achieve all this, the human race must constantly safely dispose of waste liquid streams generated from each process. Modern technology uses the laws of physics and chemistry to affect oxidation of liquid streams to render them safe for disposal back into our environment. Developed 60 years ago, wet air oxidation uses large bubble reactors that support low or medium pressure from 10 to 60 bar and uses air as oxidant to oxidize the contaminants within liquid waste streams. Retention time is often 90 minutes. These wet air oxidation systems were the first generation of wet oxidation. Aquacrytox hydrothermal oxidation is the next generation of wet oxidation called hydrothermal oxidation. Aquacrytox combines the best advantages of previous technologies and then improves upon them to provide modern day high performance hydrothermal oxidation plant. Aquacrytox hydrothermal oxidation is the process of accelerated oxidation of suspended or dissolved compounds in water, including hard COD, employing pressure and high temperature together with oxygen in a tubular reactor. Aquacrytox is designed for the treatment of waste streams that are considered to be too dilute to incinerate or too concentrated or too toxic for biological treatment. Unlike other thermal treatment methods, because it's a tubular reactor, Aquacrytox does not require the removal of the water from the waste stream. Thus, it is possible for the process to be autothermal at low COD values. Advantages include the ability to operate at very high pressure and temperatures, excellent transportation of all solids through the system, and precise control by the incorporation of multiple water quench and oxygen injection points. Increased operating pressure and the use of oxygen as oxidant leads to up to 1,200% increase in oxygen transfer rate, which can in other systems be a rate-limiting factor. Increased reaction temperature also increases reaction rate and the number of compounds that can be oxidized. And combining all these factors have allowed us to significantly reduce retention times to just over 10 minutes. Our pressure control and letdown are valve-free and is perfect for three-phase flow, which are routinely encountered in wet oxidation systems. Our autothermal system can easily handle less than 50 grams per liter of COD that are by nature less exothermic. This is achieved using the trim heater to supplement the thermal energy required to maintain the reaction. The trim heater is also used at startup to heat the system. Our standard heater is electric, thus there is no requirement for steam pipe installation and maintenance. All cooling is air cooling, which means that the installation of cooling water pipework is eliminated. By combining these innovations, it has allowed us to offer pre-assembled modular skid equipment designed to be plug and play. A 50 ton per day Aquacrytox plant is delivered to site as two 40 foot shipping container size skids that once positioned alongside each other are readily and quickly assembled into one single operating machine by the installation of the supplied spool pieces and connecting the military grade electrical connectors. Aquacrytox is completely automated. Simply select the appropriate program on the screen and everything else is automatic. The outcome is, without need of saying, superb. COD reductions of up to 99.9% .9 can be achieved with only a small quantity of clean off gas being generated. No NOx or SOx are generated. We offer full capability from desktop assessment to lab rig testing to fully commissioned packaged equipment. Ask our representative to provide you with more detail. Contact us today at scfi.eu.